Will Caesar. I mean, we've seen no evidence of it that yeah. they want that until now. But, but well, no, whenever, we, we when saw all they showed the, up at the beginning, and yeah. he was fighting with the teacher, and then they busted yeah. up the teachers and uh, fi- classroom. fighting with the one with the one slave that, or when you picked up the the showed how brute strong he was for the one human. Yeah. So at I the mean, beginning. what is there? What is there disdain for humans? Is it from the previous war twelve years ago that they still hate humans? That they were slave masters at one point? It's one of the things that I in that promise. This is not a spoiler. It's one of the things I love in the new films is the character of Koba. You understand why he's angry. What 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 has happened in his life that has put him to that point? And I love that kind of thing. We go back to that these films were the first franchise that ever, you know, according to lore, actually took their story and tried to evolve it every time. You know, James Bond right. that recycled it every time. It would have been so nice had they known that this is the path they'd gone in. And I am not begrudging this because this is unprecedented. They didn't know it. But if you had thought ahead and maybe Aldo had been present, at least from an earlier film, so we could see those kind of things and where his motivations come from. We don't know. We just know he dislikes teacher. He dislikes humans. He wants to show his strength and display his uh, superiority. We don't know any reason why he is where he is right now. And that would be nice if we had it. Do you, do you feel like the other ape or the other gorilla actors were trying to put on a voice so they could sound more like Aldo does? You know, cause, look, up in the, he's up in the tree. He heard everything we said. No, that, that, you know, for having come off of, uh, with guns, we shall smash humans, all humans, guns are power, we smash Caesar, look, it's Caesar's son, to suddenly get, and he's overheard every word we said. It was like, what the hell did that come from? (laughs) He's heard everything that we said, especially that part where you said you wanted to kill Caesar. I mean, that was kind of crazy shit just now, but you know what? He heard it. Like, like, what was it? Wait, did he? If they just now saw him, how do they know he overheard every word they said? It's Caesar's son was enough. Yeah. It's Caesar's, Aldo saying it's Caesar's son was enough to let us know that Cornelius had heard it and they know, or, or they would be, they'd be concerned about him having heard it. Well, we didn't need that entire sentence. And, and I can't stand in films when they feel the need to 100% ham-fistedly go, I'm going to explain to you what just, it's really a Greek chorus type thing where, you know, you've turned, you have to explain to the audience. Instead, Aldo, we, that's implied. He's heard it. He's right. there. Mm-hmm. He's close right. enough. Aldo should turn at that point and say, we're just talking. You know, he should almost try to quiet the child, calm the child. Yeah, because uh, come down as I pull out my fine, <laughs> huge fucking knife. No <laughs> harm will come to you. Right. It was. It was. It was a very unnecessary sentence that was a complete sentence after we just come off of Aldo grunting. Like we we have had we've had no sense that other gorillas can speak other than grunt. Like I mean, have we heard another gorilla actually give a sentence yet other than just grunts? Uh, maybe when they were chasing after the teacher, uh, when he got to remember. Caesar's place. Did we also notice that apparently Michael Keaton got his inspiration for the Batman turn from Aldo turning <laughs> the, the not, I'm not going to turn my neck. Next. It's just the shoulders. <laughs> I saw that and I thought, Whoa, you know, he, and you know, there's no makeup here, but so uh-huh. that's an actual choice of his. And I, I think it's cool, but it, it really hit me as Batman. Yeah. Just because of. We haven't seen anybody except for uh, Cornelius, you know, climbing trees and everything. I just want to be like, "What are you gonna do, old man? Climb a tree?" <laughs> so the 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 look was not in the script. The look. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, Cornelius's nightshirt showing luminously white, and his face recognizable in the light from the fire as he lies precariously along the middle of the thin uh, bow. Aldo noticed this freeze for a second, all staring at Cornelius as the camera pan showing gorillas fear and angerment, uh, amazement and anger. Um, and then Aldo goes, Caesar's son. So they didn't have that look moment in there. And it, it, I mean, the look was, the look kind of broke the tension of, uh, we smash Caesar. Like right. it's a, it's a weird, like, we're just going to break the tension of us not knowing what to be like, look. Well, to your and we didn't we didn't hear the we didn't hear the snap. We didn't hear anything to kind of let us well, know. Well, and to your request earlier and then of that snap, I, th- I think usually you put that in there almost like the Chekhov's gun type thing mm-hmm. where now there is something here that is dangerous. If Cornelius had slipped and, and done well, that, yeah, that's... that would say, and then it builds upon that, that he may fall. The, the, you know, the, yeah, the, the, it, it would have been a cold moment to have him actually fall into the fire and then run right back up the tree. Yeah. And then like, it's Caesar's son. 
And then they know that he heard everything because he fell into the he fell into the scene itself. Right. But it, it, again, you don't have to do the the Greek chorus of he heard everything if Aldo then bet- tries to calm him. You don't understand. And we've seen those kind of moments in film before. This is just so on the nose. Or heck, they could have just had... It's almost painful. Once Aldo says, and then we'll smash Caesar, you could have had Cornelius just go, no! Or, mate, why shouldn't... He should have run away. Yeah. And that would be what they heard. There are all kinds of options in this. I, We, we talked about before how, how quickly these are produced. And these are people that make good films... Is it just because they're trying so quickly just to put something together that they don't see those possibilities, do you think? Because, uh, yeah. again, I, 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 their pedigree, I'll, these people have made great movies. I think, if I'd, I think if I had personally shot this moment, I would be fine with it and just go, okay, we'll, we'll put it together. I would know. It's in the can. You're uh, under the pressure I, the, the, to get we, it Yeah, we, we, got some good, we got some good work from um, uh, Claude. Right. Uh, we've got our shots. We've got some good hand work out of them. The lighting's cool. Well, the lighting's good. We've we've got our shots of Cornelius up in the tree that we can use. Let's move on to the let's next move scene. on to the next scene. I would I would not have overanalyzed this particular moment if I were shooting this. It's this so way. funny to me, you know, and and I always feel the need to apologize to the people that listen when we're so critical of this. But at the same time, that's what this format of podcast we do almost begs you to do. But what I find funny is that when you get to independent film that is about shooting as much as you can as quick as you can there's still so much more creativity and i wonder if it's just those studio suits and the pressure and the money that it's like let's go because you don't see that you know nomad land that won the academy award this year was an independent film and shot in like and i want to say 30 days 45 days that's quick they didn't miss things like this and i i just wonder again when it, you'd remove the studio pressure from it if that's part if, of it if, if the, the stuff that we wanted to see in this scene um, would have actually come from the screenwriters, I think, in my point. They would have brought out more of they where Aldo is going, mm-hmm. how the other gorillas are not sure what to do and how to react to this moment, right. um, how Cornelius responds when he hears this news itself. I mean, that, that to me is, if I, if I were just shooting this, I would, I would say we got what we needed to get and let's just move on to something else. But, you always hope the director, though, will turn come in and have such story presence of mind that they go, I need a little bit more here. Right. And again, Thompson, I mean, great director. I, I will say it again. Go watch Cape Fear. If you ever doubt it, that is a fantastic movie. It's just cranking this stuff out. But so, they were making money, and they do an okay job with it. So yes, yesterday, we, we discovered that the gorillas were unhappy. They want guns in war. Uh, there is some dissent going on. This We actually find out, Aldo does want to come after Caesar. Right. So so there was, it was a big moment of, of a reveal. I mean, 100%. Pro- probably not a shocking one to the audience because you kind of, uh, I assume, kind of know that that's where Aldo's right. leading anyway because right. he's unhappy yeah, with, he's with, not Caesar, been happy with Caesar. But now it's home. definitely out in the open. Yeah. All right. I think that's about it. You know, the funny thing is we took so long to get into the minute that now <laughs> that we're here, it's that was actually a pretty fun minute to break down. So I'll say, hey, We'll be back tomorrow. Get some Everyone, chips. yeah, get some chips. Some Enjoy the salt. Ass chips. If you're gonna do chips, do salt. Am I right? Oh, you're right. Get, there get you go. Sack, some salty ass chips. We'll be back tomorrow. Another minute. Everyone, have a great day. Bye. Bye, everybody. The minute of the age. The minute of the age.